we would like to calculate the age of the universe. We're given the Hubble's constant of positive 68 kilometers per second per megaparsec. From this, we want to find the age of the universe. We're given a conversion of one megaparsec is equal to 3.086 times 10 to the 19th kilometers. So let's solve for the age of the universe. The age of the universe is 1 divided by Hubble's constant. So let's go ahead and substitute in. So we've got 1 in the numerator, and we need to put uh, Hubble's constant in the denominator, which is 68 kilometers per second. So I'm going to put a kilometer on the denominator side, a second on the numerator side, because that's kilometers per second, per megaparsec. And since it's per megaparsec, I'm going to put my megaparsec on the numerator side. Now I want to get rid of megaparsecs. So I'm going to build a railroad track and we have one megaparsec down in the denominator and then in the numerator we have 3.086 times 10 to the 19th and the units are kilometers. So let's get rid of like units. We got megaparsecs on the top, megaparsecs on the bottom, kilometers on the top, kilometers on the bottom. So the only units we have left are going to be seconds. So we'll put our seconds units there. So now we have 3.086 times 10 to the 19th divided by 68. So it's 3.086 EE e 19 divided by 68. And we have a value of 4.538. We can round the 8 up to a 4. 4.54 times 10 to the 17th. So we have 4.54 times 10 to the 17th seconds. Well, we don't want seconds, we want in terms of billions of years. So we need to convert out of seconds into units that we want. So we have 60 seconds in one minute. We've got 60 minutes in one hour. And we have 24 hours in one day and we have 365 days in one year we don't want just years we want billions of years so we need to get in terms of billions of years so one we have 1 billion years is 10 to the 9th years. So let's get rid of like units. Seconds cancels with seconds. Minutes cancels with minutes. Hours cancels with hours. Days cancels with days. Years cancels with years. And we'll be left with billions of years. So let's multiply this out. We've got 4.54 times 10 to the 17th, which is already there. And then we need to divide by 60 and divide by 60. So we divide by 60, hit equals. We need to divide by another 60, equals. So we divided by 60, divided by 60. Now we need to divide by 24 and divide by 365. So we divide by 24 and then we divide by 365. 
So there's the 24, there's a 365. Now we need to divide by 10 to the 9th. So we divide by 1e9 and we get 14.4. So what we get here for our value is 14.4 billions of Earth years as our calculations. And that is how we would calculate the age of the universe given this particular Hubble constant.